I am excited to introduce Michael Lampkin with uh, Senior Home Companions. We are, he's one of our Life's Co-Pilot uh, members, uh, one of the early members with us. And we'd just like to introduce you and introduce Senior Home Companions. Michael, what, what is Senior Home Companions? <laughs> you know. uh, Jim, thanks for having me on. Uh, Senior Home Companions is a, is a privately owned home care company. We've been around 20 plus years here in Indianapolis. Um, we're in Florida and in Lafayette, Indiana, and, and our mission is just to create active and engaged lives through exceptional care for our, for our clients um, with different kinds of services, including like personal care, um, you know, activities of daily living, meal preparation, housekeeping, things like that. So. Excellent. So now you cover basically central Indiana and Lafayette and then Florida. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, we have four locations in Florida and then yeah, Marion County, the surrounding counties for the most part, and then Tippecanoe County. Okay, excellent. Well, so tell me what 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 is working with senior home companions like? What's that all about? How does that play out for people? Yeah, we're we're licensed with the State Department of Health as a personal service agency. And and some of this stuff will be similar for any home company you know you work with that has a similar uh, designation, but you know the first step is just we call it the connection builder, uh, where you're calling in either to me or or to our office, and one of our trained staff is going to walk through just getting some basic information to understand the situation. Um, what we want to do is is really quickly thereafter set up an in-home or virtual uh, assessment, where we're really trying to come out of that with a really holistic care profile uh, for you, your loved ones, the situation at hand. Um, so that uh, we can come back to our office. Um, you know, this is one of the things that might differ from for SHCs. We've got several people on my team. Um, so while I might do that connection builder, I have a social worker or care manager, we call it, who is actually going to be your dedicated resource moving forward, as well as a uh, caregiver scheduler that's partnered up with each of those care managers. And so that collaborative advantage, once we have the holistic care profile, we're going to come back to the office, talk about it, and really make sure we all digested it. And then we're going to match you up with care that meets those needs uh, from that profile. And, and that dedicated resource, again, is kind of what they're, they're going to walk through this journey with you moving forward from here. Um, so they're going to have that care game plan they're going to bring back to you. And then we're going to launch care. And when we do that, you know, some, oftentimes we'll, that care manager will be there to introduce them, him or herself and introduce you to the caregiver uh, at the beginning of care. It's great uh, for you, the client, because if there's an issue or there's something we can work through or on site, uh, but then the caregivers love it too, and it, it tends to create more consistent care. It's one of the ways we do that. Um, but then we're gonna continue on that journey with you. Uh, so we have what we call the alignment review where that client care manager is really gonna come back and, and make sure everything's going on. Uh, you know, Nothing new is going on and, and that care is continuing the way you want it. Um, maybe something's changed. Uh, maybe, you know, there's something that um, you need help with, whether that's, uh, you know, you fell or something over the weekend. We hope not, but we can connect you to resources for that. Um, or maybe it's just uh, you have some extra events coming up. Uh, you know, COVID gets over and we're all itching to get out and we just need to add some care to help maybe take you to those events. Uh, maybe you want to go out of town and take your caregiver with you. Those are things we can we can figure out for you. So, and then again, kind of delving into some concierge services, but that's kind of the last piece of the puzzle. Um, you know, maybe it's customized trainings for the caregivers. Um, maybe it's care management, that, that client care manager going with you to physician appointments, or, um, you know, there's just other care packages available. So um, we've had clients ask us to throw birthday parties for someone who thought they could never have another birthday party. Um, we've had clients, we have a younger client who actually took her, her uh, scheduler and her, um, her caregiver with her on a cruise. Uh, otherwise, that wouldn't have been a, a, a possibility for her. So those are those concierge services that, that we feel like we're really well positioned to provide. Excellent. Uh, so do you guys, you do like home care, you do home health care as well, or just home care? Yeah, so Medicare will pay for after like a hospitalization will pay pay for in home skilled care uh, mm -hmm. if you're homebound, and that's you know not something that we do necessarily. So they're going to send in uh, a nurse, a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, and some of the other life co pilot videos. I know you, you maybe you can link to um, have talked about this in, in more depth, um, but those are separate services. We're going to support those. 
So you may get that, that occupational therapist or nurse coming out one, two hours a week. Maybe they send an aide one or two days to help with bathing. And a lot of times families come and then ask us, well, what do I do the rest of the time? And that's where we really come in to support those. So oftentimes you'll have homework from your physical therapist, you know, a worksheet of exercises you should do more regularly than they're there. And our caregiver can certainly help you with that. Um, maybe getting on the recumbent bike and doing some biking every morning to keep your legs strong. Uh, maybe it's uh, something to help with dexterity. Uh, my own mother was in the hospital when I was younger and all she had to do was blow into this little device breathing treatment, right? And she was the worst at doing it unless my sister and I were there to tell her. So our caregiver can function like the son or daughter in that case and make sure mom does that. Well, I know that's one of the big things that you guys in, in, that, in your space in the industry really do is you help the family member become the family member again, rather than just the full-time caregiver, you know, so I know that that's a big, a big plus and takes stress off that family. I think we've talked um, about this on some of those videos too, you know, caregiver burnout is real. And so even if, you know, the thought of paying for extra services, you know, 24 seven seems too much, just one day a week or a couple days a month could be enough to keep that primary caregiver mom or dad, depending upon the situation, or a son or a daughter from burning out and having their own health issues. Yeah, that's an important aspect of what can be done. So, and I, and I know this is a different division of your company, but the very first time I met you, and you may not remember this, was actually at a uh, uh, Muddy Boots uh, walkthrough of one of your new uh, yeah. senior you know, uh, memory care facilities. You want to bring that up a little bit about what that is, because that's a nice, nice feature as well. So you're referencing Story Cottage, and yes. Story Cottage is a, a, a group home for adults with dementia. Uh, there, it's, it's kind of unique in the senior living space. Uh, it's, there's only eight folks that live there, but it's staffed with two SHC caregivers who are CNAs 24-7. Uh, and if, if, as you research senior living, um, there's some great options out here. We're blessed in Indianapolis to have those. We're, we're partners with many of them. Um, you know, it's a, it's a much different staffing ratio and it works for a lot of people, but there are some folks who it's not a good match for, or maybe you promised your loved one that you would never put them in a institutional uh, setting. And so Story Cottage really is, um, you know, message us, we can do a virtual tour right now, um, but it really strikes the balance to where good care is provided in a very, very home-like setting. And it's a beautiful home on the north side of Indianapolis. We're actually getting ready to add a second one in Carmel. And um, yeah, it's just been great reviews. And it's in a around. it's a neighborhood. It's not in a it's, it's not even in a commercial setting. It's in a there's no neighborhood. sign. You probably drive past it if you work on the north side of Indy. You probably drive past it every day and have no idea it's there. Yeah. So and well, very uh, cool. Yeah. Well, how long have you been in the senior world? Yeah. So. You know, we, um, I've, I've dabbled in it for a long time. My own mother, I, I moved back to Indianapolis after college. So I'm from the west side of Indy. I grew up off 38th Street for the most part, uh, went to Pike High School and then went on to Purdue, was studying history. And my, my own mom got sick and she's all right now, but she spent eight months in Methodist. And I, I found myself in a situation many of our clients see where she's coming home from the hospital and the nurse comes to me, the son and hands me this book, if you will, about bathing mom and her breathing treatments and medications. And I'm like, kind of panicking, like, that's not me. Like, I don't, I don't think you've got the right person here. You know, I'm not a nurse. And, you know, SHD helps a lot of folks through situations like that. But then, you know, you know, kind of fast forward, I've been here five years at SHC and, you know, just was looking for that company that helped improve people's lives here in the city. And, and I definitely think we get the opportunity to do that. So I'm in charge of uh, outside sales, you know, doing a lot of things like this, educating folks on what it is SHG does, but also just our, our medical system and how it works and, and understanding some of those intricacies. Um, and I love it. It's been great. Awesome. Well, who's Michael? Tell me about you. What's, you know, outside of work, you know, there's a life out there too. Yeah, I'm super blessed. So uh, my wife, Katie, uh, she's from Indiana as well. And we have two girls, uh, Isabel, who is four and Andalyn, who's one and a half, and they keep us busy for sure. And we, we actually live out in the country up in Tipton. So um, 
it's been uh, it's been a fun ride so far, and I'm I'm excited for the next few years with the girls and all the fun stuff we get to start doing. So, excellent. Any hobbies or anything that you like to to do, or yeah, is there time know, for that? I'm into the outdoors. Yeah, amen. <laughs> I'm into the outdoors, you know, whether it's biking or running or taking the girls for a hike. Um, recently, I'm looking into building my own ice skating rink uh, just to enjoy these uh, these winter months with the kids. And since we can't really go too many places because of, of COVID, um, we're really exploring what we can do with the outdoors and the girls. Excellent. Well, how would somebody get a hold of you if they wanted to find out more or talk to you? So. Yeah, um, my cell phone number is 317-414-9292. You can give this call. The office is always available too, 24-7. Um, I'm sure we can get some links to some of this stuff maybe. We'll put that on um, here. But uh, Life's Copilot will have the office number and uh, email addresses. So, you know, really the best thing to do is give us a call and, and set up a time to, to have a more in-depth assessment chat. And we can really look and see, you know, how best we can help you. Um, I'm always glad to be a sounding board too, just, you know, with our kind of care, whether that's here in Indiana or maybe you've got a loved one someplace else, maybe I can be a resource to, you know, be a sounding board for what your expectations should or, or might not be. Well, Michael, thank you for sharing with us. I really look forward to this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, recording on.